What's going on guys? This is Empty Box, and this is a Settle Corsa multiplayer. And we are racing the Ferrari 312T at Monza 1966 here in a seven lap race. This is the second online race I've done here in a Settle Corsa, so let's see how this goes. Oh, we're already three wide. I guess that guy's gonna back out of it. As I said, this is my second race in multiplayer. My first race was uh, GT3s at Silverstone and it was a very exceptionally boring race. As I managed to essentially walk away from the field and just drive around in circles for six or seven laps. And Carnage back there. You can disable the driver's names with Control L. Control L. But uh, they're not that bad. Not that obtrusive, although I wouldn't mind. If I could just get it to the arrow indicator, which is an indicator of ping, actually. Which is pretty nifty. So we're in second place here in the seven lap race at Monza. It seems like there is a little bit more uh, shimmering in multiplayer. They do say multiplayer is currently in an alpha state, which seems pretty interesting, considering the version name is .9 after all, which would indicate that we're fairly close to release, or 1.0, which is typically release. Of course, version numbers are version numbers, and that's really that. You know, there isn't too much in it. I mean, it's just an arbitrary value. We caught up to uh, Mr. Glass 141 right there. See how much slipstream there is here at Monza in these cars. I gotta say, it is nice to race with an opponent that is uh, not swerving and breaking randomly like the AI has a tendency to do. Hopefully we can make it two for two. Let's see how long I can keep uh, my Seto Corsa undefeated streak going. Seems like this guy has pretty equal pace to me, so should be pretty interesting. Might be a tick faster. Easy. Easy does it. Although, of course, just as I say that, I managed to screw up and give back any time that I gained. I gotta say, I do kind of like the little pop-up display with the timing. That is pretty, pretty nifty, although I'm generally not a fan of 
gamey elements, for lack of a better term. I mean, obviously in the real world you wouldn't have that thing pop up. I don't mean like the game's like less sim with it, but... Whoa! But usually I just kind of find those things kind of distracting, but... I don't know. I don't necessarily mind it too much. After all, I am running with arrows over the top of the car in front of me, which... We've raced with this guy a bit here. We know his ping. We know he's good to go. Let's turn those off for extra immersion and awesomeness. Yes, slipstream. I can take that risk right now. It is Monza after all. Not like it's really all that difficult to pass here. Especially seeing how we're going to get him going down in turn one. Let's see what it does. Ah, he's still there. He's going to be looking for the inside. Still back there? All right, now I gotta turn the driver names back on because I can't tell which Ferrari is which. Oh, he's still back there. I have to say, when I woke up this morning, I uh, figured, you know what, it's Friday. It's usually a set of course of update day. Let me go ahead and just do a quick check on my phone, see if there's any news stories over at B-Sim Racing, and hey, multiplayer released, and uh, it's like, hey, time to go to work. Woohoo, yeah. Which, uh, unlike some people, I, I haven't been slobbering and going crazy about the thoughts of the set of course a multiplayer, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I want multiplayer just as bad as the next guy, but it's not necessarily the biggest feature of a set of course for me because you know, I, I do foresee myself continuing with iRacing because of the way that you know they have structured things which you know, so of course it doesn't have, but I'll talk about that hopefully here on the next lap if I have time. Because there's a change. It is different than your regular racing sim. But, you know, it's just like, you know, I'd rather have better AI than Squeaky Queen multiplayer, but at the same time, I mean, obviously I'm here racing multiplayer, but on top of that, I, I just recognize that, in my opinion, a game has to have a really, really strong multiplayer out of the box. Game releases with poor multiplayer that doesn't work, it's just going to drive drivers away and it's just going to kill it entirely. Which, fortunately, it seems like it's been pretty smooth and painless. And uh, that's, that's good stuff. But what is different is they have a booking system, which basically means you create a race you know, your car track combination, your race distances and everything like that, and then we'll give this guy plenty of space. I guess that's my thinking. But then you basically have that server, that race, show up in the server browser, and uh, you register for it, and then, you know, in however long, five minutes or whatever, for example, that race goes live, which means that everybody's locked into that race and nobody can join it uh, or anything like that, which is kind of weird.
But he's just like, you know, I, I can see that being really handy and helpful and everything like that. You know, to be able to, you know, structure your races a little bit better. Which I think that'll definitely help out with that, but it's going to take some getting used to because it is a bit of a different system. And with that said, cha-cha-cha, two for two, baby. And I just tried to shift into imaginary sixth gear. Yeah. That's also kind of weird that uh, when you cross the finish line or when time runs out in qualifying, for example, everybody's done. It just it just ends there, which is it is whatever. But we're about to get disconnected. Hope you guys enjoyed my second multiplayer race. I bye.